Barnes is one of several young receivers in from the 2017 class looking to make a move in 2018, photo, Trey Biddy, 247 sports, over the next few months leading into the 2018 football season, hogsports.com. We'll take a closer look at several players on the roster, many of whom are younger and didn't have any feature stories written on them in the past year after their recruitment was finished. Today, that player is former Cabot Arc standout Jared Barnes as he is entering his second year with the Razorbacks. Barnes is one of several young receivers out of high school from the class of 2017 who will push to make an impact this upcoming season. That bunch includes Little Rock, Ark, Pulaski Robinsons, Coylan Jackson, Monroe, La, and Washita Parish's Devian Warren. Austin, Texas, Lake Travis's Malik Barkley has since moved to running back, and the Hogs signed a pair of Juco receivers in that class, as well, in the Mississippi Gulf Coast duo of Brandon Martin and Jonathan Nance. Lining up as a dual-threat quarterback under legendary Cabot coach Mike Malham and his option offense, Barnes ran 126 times for 867 yards, 6.9 yards per carry, and 12 touchdowns. He only attempted 49 passes, but the threat of him running scared defenses enough that he completed 39 of them for an impressive 79.6% and 689 yards, 14.1 yards per attempt. He had 1,090 yards on 111 attempts, 9.8 YPC, in leading Cabot to an undefeated regular season as a junior. The 247 sports composite had Barnes as the no. For overall prospect in Arkansas in 2017, the no. 47 athlete and the no 666th prospect in the country. Perhaps his most legendary accomplishment came in his junior year when he locked down five-star Bentonville basketball star Malik Monk and helped his team to the 7A state championship. Monk had become a villain of sorts in the mind of Razorback fans after he spurned Arkansas by committing to rival Kentucky. Monk wasted little time deciding to cast his lot with the Razorbacks way back in February of 2016. He was the second commitment of the 2017 recruiting class. Barnes saw action in just one game last season with two catches for 30 yards in the 49-7 season opening win over Florida A. There is nothing on the roster to suggest he received a medical redshirt in his freshman year as he is listed as a sophomore. But the same is true of cornerback Ryan Pulley. Pulley is listed on the roster as a senior, but he told Hawk Sports in March that he has received a medical red shirt and is now a junior. Maybe the same is the case with Barnes. Listed at 5 to 11, 171, Barnes is longer than he is tall, and when he hits the corner and turns up field, he simply explodes. There are a lot of question marks at wide receiver with several players having some sort of injury issue and others not replicating practice production in games. Burns was outside the coveted top six receivers coming out of the spring, but he has impressive speed and last year's coaches liked him enough to play him as a true freshman. Barnes had one catch for six yards in the red-white game on April 7th, 